Hello everyone, we'd like to tell you a little more about our Together Capital campaign here at Our Savior Lutheran Church and School. It was uh, this time last year that we were celebrating 10 years since the dedication of this building and our relocation from the south side of Lansing uh, out here to Delta Township and celebrating how God has really blessed uh, this ministry, uh, where we're at, our location, uh, in a number of ways, uh, even as we continue to reach out uh, to the greater Lansing area. Uh, personally, being here at Our Savior 15 years, wow, that's a long time, 15 years of ministry and uh, being able to experience the transition of moving a church and school to a new location, now that doesn't happen very often. Uh, so in my tours with prospective school families, I often share the, the lengthy history, 60 plus years of school of uh, school ministry and church ministry, but then being here in this area, that, that commitment to uh, a new location, uh, Delta Township, uh, Greater Lansing serving others in the, in the community, uh, the, the benefit of that, what a blessing that's been, and a lot of emotion and, and faith, trusting God would lead our, 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 our programs through, uh, through ministry. That was a big uh, leap of faith uh, for our church to take, but uh, as we said, we've seen God bless that in a lot of ways with uh, new members, uh, greater enrollment in our school, and uh, a lot of new ministries that we've been able to uh, bless our community with. We've seen God at work in some really neat ways. Um, our school enrollment is uh, some of the highest in decades yeah, this, lately. This year we had a full kindergarten uh, early on uh, in May, and uh, knowing that as we went through the school uh, year preparation, uh, we had anticipated um, a wait list and sure, sure enough saw a wait list of six students, up to six students, and, and took a look past her at what um, could we add a kindergarten class this year as well as what might it look like in the future. Years ago, we shared with the congregation about a full church, full school vision and now, lo and behold, the Lord is answering prayer and His timing uh, to have a full kindergarten. And what might that mean in the future for double grades? Our leadership is going to be looking at that and exploring what would that mean for future years to go to those double grades. That's really exciting. Mm -hmm. We've seen our summer camp grow a lot these last few years. We had 280 kids enrolled this past summer. Uh, we noticed that uh, over half of them were not enrolled in our school, mm -hmm. which means this is a whole other segment of our community that we are connecting with and uh, see continual opportunities for us to relate to our neighborhoods and uh, communities. Yeah, our Savior being that neighborhood congregation and that neighborhood school, uh, knowing that there is uh, folks that uh, really enjoy uh, this type of program of experiences of the faith component, Christian education, and resources for family. I think that's one of the the highlights recently. We still have a great connection to our previous location is that's uh, the ongoing site of the Our Savior Food Bank, mm -hmm. uh, which is now the largest food bank in Ingham County, mm -hmm. uh, 10,000 people a year, uh, 100 families a week that are blessed through that. And we're wondering what's the next level of care that we could bring to those families that we are already connected to, different classes or uh, ways to support, spiritual care, maybe even Bible study or worship. There's a lot of opportunities for us to serve that part of the city. What a neat opportunity to now, after leaving that community, thinking full circle, going back to that community and extending a ministry uh, to some other lengths. We have also always had a great uh, multicultural dimension to our Savior, a commitment to making disciples of all nations since welcoming the first uh, Hmong families uh, in the 1970s. Our partnership has really grown with the Friendship House at MSU and international mm -hmm. students. We still have uh, our Hmong ministry that is a growing part of our ministry. And we've also seen the Lord really bless our partnership with Middleburg, South Africa, these last few years especially. Uh, you and I both got uh, the opportunity to visit and worship there uh, in Middleburg in June. And we see the Lord really connecting us with them to learn from them, uh, to be blessed by them, and to be a blessing as well. So with all these uh, opportunities that we have before us, we know that we have some challenges mm -hmm. as a uh, church and school. Uh, we know that we have the mortgage on our building, which is still pretty significant, uh, just under $5 million that is our loan. Uh, and yet we see how this facility is full uh, seven days a week, being used in so many ways uh, to make disciples. And it is a tremendous blessing for us. In the last year, we, or last five years, we've been able to work off a million dollars of that uh, debt and that mortgage payment and so knowing that this could free up some ministry dollars to do some of the things that we um, as a program staff and as a, a congregation school that church school uh, 
opportunity. There's there's uh, lots of opportunity and, and a promise in what could happen. Right now, our mortgage payments are around thirty one thousand uh, a month uh, that we pay on that. And our congregation has been very generous and, uh, and, and incredibly generous in supporting that, continuing that. We have 25 years left on that note, and we're looking at what would it take for us to take a, a million dollars out of that uh, debt that would free up around $5,000 a month for 12 months for 25 years. <laughs> Uh, and really uh, help us meet some of these opportunities that God's brought before us through that campaign. That's a big portion of the Together campaign is debt reduction. We also know that our facility was all built at one time. There's no old part, so we need a, a facility fund to help us uh, care for our building. We're very thankful we've for it. We've started to do that with the parking lot, uh, the lighting in the parking lot that we've all benefited from and we'll continue to see the uh, the value of that in interior lights as well that have been upgraded and uh, we've had some beat the heat and other experiences along the way uh, for furnace and replacement air conditioners that type of thing and we want to put ourselves in a position long term again our, our church and school have been very generous in those mm -hmm. and we want to make sure that we have that uh, reserve for the future we also want to be on guard against becoming too inwardly focused. And that's a, a valuable thing. I know for our Savior has a, a history of making sure that they look beyond themselves. And we want to continue that theme, uh, knowing that that can have an impact for, um, for our hearts. And, and knowing those who, uh, who can come to know Jesus and share Jesus, join Jesus on his mission. So we've included a missions component to the campaign that's always that constant reminder that we're not just here for ourselves, we're not just here to take care of our own, but we always want to be looking at how God's at work in the, in the broader kingdom. So debt reduction, facility maintenance, and a missions component. Uh, it's a big task, it's a big leap of faith, a great challenge, but this is something that we can only do uh, together. And your participation is very important. And uh, we know that this is something we do together with Christ, in hope, and for the next generation. And that's what it's all about. So we hope that uh, you can join us, that you can be in worship on October 27th. Uh, one service that day at 9.30. Uh, important to note that special time where we really get to worship together. Mm -hmm. And then afterwards, go into the gym for a celebration, cider, donuts, popcorn, and uh, just uh, celebrate uh, the pledges that were brought that day and how God uh, continues to bless us. There'll be a countdown for that re release of information after the pledge announcement and uh, building up the kingdom, uh, knowing that uh, we do that together. Uh, very excited of what's on the future and the horizons for our Savior Lutheran Church and School. Uh, we pray that uh, we would also be blessed in just the joy of generosity mm -hmm. and knowing that as Christians, um, our giving is just a reflection of what God has given to us. Mm -hmm. We know everything belongs to Him and uh, so we want to just be good stewards of all that he's given to us and uh, use what we have for the advance of his kingdom. Uh, so we pray God will bless us as uh, we come together for this moment at this time uh, to join Jesus on his mission and learn, live, and share Christ together.